heard a couple of people say that they 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 felt like they the they, the actor they got to play Superman. Yeah. Uh, I heard one person say they think they tried to make him be too much like Chris Reed. Yeah. And Chris was pretty special. Person. Yeah. Uh, he was not. You didn't meet somebody like him every yeah. time you walked around the locker. Room. <laughs> okay. He was different. Okay. Uh, okay. Well. Just with the hype of the Superman, or I don't know if it's not really much of a hype now, but uh, about a month ago, I tell you, I tell you this, you know, everywhere you go, stores or whatever would have promotions, and I, I would oh, see yeah. the DVDs, you know, the first two would sell for like five ninety nine a piece. So, <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> anyway, anyway, back to back to your interview, back to about you. Uh, do you think uh, with the films that you've been in and, and the films that some of your friends have been in and whatnot, uh, do you think the films of today are much different? than the films of yesterday, or do you think it's about the same? Uh, to tell you the truth, it's hard for me to tell. My eyes have not uh, have been getting... I've got a, uh, the type of eye disease which doesn't get better. Okay. It sort of gradually gets a little worse. Yeah. Uh, it's a type of macular degeneration, but it's called cone dystrophy. And, okay. Uh, so I'm not sure how well I see films. Uh, okay. As a matter of fact, I've got a pretty special setup at home so I can almost get my nose right in the screen yeah. uh, to watch them when I watch them for the, you know, voting for the Academy Awards. And yeah. um, I, I don't think I like them as much right now as I have for a while. Um, I, I think I was involved in a few of the things which maybe brought on a lot of the quick cuts and. Yeah. Some of the stuff I was involved in television, uh, we liked homicide an awful lot. Yeah, but I yeah. think it, it got people kind of moving in one direction. They don't seem to be able to stop. Yeah. Uh, I, I guess that's a very uh, literal <laughs> literal way of saying it. Sure, Movies sure. can't stop anymore. They're no, just moving no. all the time, you know. And, and I find that I, on top of being older, uh, just my eyes, I can't care. I okay. can't watch stuff. Okay. So I don't think they're I don't think they're as good, but I don't know if I'm, I'm a very good judge. Okay. Well, I, I mean more like uh, on the lines like uh, I'll say you talk about having eye disease. Like maybe before you you got that, like way like when you when you were able to make a comparison, like yeah, uh, that's what I kind of mean. But uh, but yeah, I I kind of do agree with you. I mean the movies of today are good uh, and they will continue, but uh, you know I don't know. I think nowadays in the film industry, and this is just my opinion. Uh, kind of run out of ideas, you know, in a way. Yeah. Because they've done everything they could possibly do, you know. I, I think the 70s uh, are going to be hard for anybody to touch in film. Yeah. What was special about the 70s, a lot of people on the outside don't know, was that the 70s were a time when uh, movie scripts turned out to be scenarios. Yeah. Uh, they were not word for word what you were going to say. And yeah. And there was a lot of improvisation in the 70s. And the thing about the movies then was the life in them is very lively. Yeah. The people are very alive. Yes. And the characters are alive. And I think that we've gotten way, way away from that. Yeah. Uh, we're back to... We just... We, we, as a matter of fact, we don't even know how to... Impro young actors don't seem to know how to improvise anymore. Okay. Which is sort of strange. Yeah. <laughs> now, now with you, uh, uh, are there any up and coming projects that you're working on? Well, I've got one that's sort of in the can, and they're doing post production on. It's called The Walker. Okay. Uh, and uh, I suspect it'll be out sometime during this next year. Okay. And then one I'm working on right now, I have to go to Band of Vancouver on it again next week. Okay. I've been up there ten days already. I'm gonna go back. Um, it's called Shooter. Okay. And it's about um, it's about a sniper. Yeah. And it's pretty heavily political because you start off thinking maybe that it's gonna be a a version of the JFK yeah. assassination. Okay. And it turns out to be something more insidious. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I think that's going to be pretty good. Mark Wahlberg is in Oh, okay, yeah. cool. And and uh, I get that with Danny Glover, which is oh, wow. a great deal of pleasure. That's a couple of, well, Mark Wahlberg, yes, he, he's a, I, I see a lot of his films. That, yeah. 
he, he's a good guy. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know him personally like you probably do, but I, you know, wow. Is this now the one that you filmed in Canada, the shooter? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. He's going to be, he's, I'm impressed with him. I think he's going to be real good at it. It's a really, it's a really good hero part. Okay. I mean, this is a real hero guy. And, and uh, I think it's going to turn out, that part's going to turn out extremely well. Okay. I, uh. I'm kind of uh, yeah. I'm kind of I have kind of good hopes. I have good hopes about both these movies. And then okay. uh, uh, there's another movie which possibility. What uh, I'm kind of excited about it because Mike Mike Nichols is directing it. Okay. So, um, uh, I don't know whether that's going to happen yet or not, but I'm mentioning it only because maybe it'll bring me luck. <laughs> hey, who knows? Hey, you never know. Luck. <laughs> you never know. Okay. Uh, what was I going to say, Lo, uh, uh with these up-and-coming two films that you're working on right now, anyway, uh, uh-huh. any uh, well-known uh, movie production, uh, like, uh, is it by Warner Brothers, Columbia Pictures? Well, Paramount is doing the one uh, which is called uh, uh, Shooter. Okay. And the one we did before, The Walker, um... I'm not, I don't, I think that's an independent. I don't think. Okay. You know, that's good. Actually, uh, uh, Sunday stuff kind of? No, no. You know, one of the things you should probably know about movies right now, which if you haven't sort of, yeah. studios don't make many pictures anymore. Okay. Uh, when a studio does make a picture, it tends to complicate it. Okay. Uh, the one we're doing right now is a little bit more complicated by the studio. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, actually, independent films. Uh, it, did you know that of the five sh- movies that were up for Academy Awards this last year, four of them were independent films. Really? Yeah, only one of them started in a studio. Huh. And it was the one that won, and I did not think it was the best movie. Well, I, I do, in a way, kind of follow independent films once in a great while. Uh, yeah. Because uh, I believe, you know, just like, as Jason Reitman was telling me, because I interviewed him, that's uh, I've been writing some, just in case you uh-huh. knew that already. Uh he did a movie called Thank You for Smoking, and uh, it's a more based on, like, big tobacco and all that stuff. Yeah. And, uh, I haven't seen that yet. I want to see it. Is it good? I, I haven't seen it. I've seen the trailer for it, so they got... Oh, well, shoot. We better get a copy and see it. Yeah. Uh, well, I don't I don't know if it's out on DVD yet. I think it's still in theaters. I, I'm not real sure yet. Uh, he he yeah. doesn't really explain a whole lot about it, of course, but... Uh, yeah. But, uh, no, uh, no, I do follow the independent circuit, because I believe, too, you know, that... You know, because they do work... Uh, Basically, on the merit of your work, you know, they, 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 uh, it's an art, and a lot of people, you know, have forgotten that, you know, even yeah. the, even the stuff that you're doing now, you know, or even the stuff that you did in the past, yeah. uh, it's, it's, it's an art, and people don't, you know, people look, a lot of people say, oh, it's just a movie, you know, like whatever, you know, but, yeah. but you know, a lot of people don't realize, you know, that it, with all the work and, and, and merit, whatever that goes into it, you know, it, it helps build. Uh, why people should be interested in stuff like this, but uh, yeah, when they're when they're good, they can be really, really good. And, and there are there are been a lot, you know, that people will never forget, you know. Yeah, that's true. Uh, okay, uh, just a couple more questions here. I recently uh, uh, figured out, uh, or or I guess I kind of knew this uh, a while now. Uh, you recently, back in March, uh, won a River Run Award. How does oh, yeah. it feel? How does it feel to be uh, awarded such a great honor like that? It's uh, nice. It's nice, and it's especially good if you can help out on a movie that you're that you're helping to publicize. Yeah. We have a movie called Sweetland, which was made here in Minnesota. Yeah, and it's very good. Okay, and I, I like it so much that I would do just about anything within reason to help it along. And it's it's now got a distributorship, and it's going to be starting to be in theaters very soon. Okay, probably gonna, it's probably going to start in an art house in New York City. Okay. And then it'll open slow. Uh, yeah. I really hope people get to see it, and uh, maybe they'll get a Galaxy Square Theater here in Peace River, hopefully. Yeah, I, you know what? I'm. Uh, I, I started off the summer working on that, and I yeah. finally kind of backed away from it because it was a little complicated. Because it's you know it's not my film. Yeah. It actually belongs to people who paid for it. Yeah. And. Uh, they're actually most everybody's a Minnesotan I'm yeah. sure. the whole thing was done here in the state and uh, financed here in the state which part in Minnesota well mostly around the cities okay but and we actually filmed it in uh, Montevideo which is okay. southwest yeah but I really felt like the whole time we were doing it was more like northwest yeah yeah it, because it was uh, 
It was mostly Norwegian. Okay. And the Norwegian community, little Norwegian church, you know, and Norwegian farmers. And, yeah. uh the whole story is about a girl who comes to marry one of the young Norwegian bachelors. Okay. And uh, she turns out to be German. And sure. And that starts a lot of trouble. Okay. But it's a wonderful love story, and it's just... I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm really high on it. I really want people to see it and enjoy it. Cause, uh, and is that more like an independent film, too, or is that uh, something? Definitely. Okay. Definitely, okay. definitely. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. And